back to Don Machi, everybody. I, um, listen, I still, what I said last time is like, girl, why the why mermaid didn't help? Why the mermaid didn't help? But that's beyond the point right now. Anyways, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn on notifications, follow me on socials, and if you want fully unedited or uncensored versions of Patreon, support in all formats is appreciated. Let's begin. You know what? This is giving very much like One Piece, Naruto, Pokemon-ish. Like, well, you know, other shows do start like this, so I can't be really mad at that. You did it! And now the mermaid. She's got to be a Zenos. Like, she definitely has to be a Zenos. There's no other way. That's a Zenos. She's gonna speak. Oh, she can? Oh, the boobs. Yeah, the boobs are just out. You shouldn't go towards that water because you know the water is dangerous. Oh, she's fast. The girl of water. Oh, is there like a, a Zenos city down there? Or there's probably a mermaid city. Zenos. Oh. Oh, so she's happy that he knows what she is. Like Ray? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's how she just like stays up. Wait, what? What is she doing? Oh, her blood has healing property. <laughs> her blood has healing properties. Wow. Oh, this is actually bad. This is bad. This is a bad foreshadowing because if they find out about this, they're gonna fucking hunt mermaids. Mmm. So people already know about mermaids' blood. Okay. I was thinking it might be like her Zenos thing. What is it? Oh, okay. I was fully expecting Moss Guy to come back. That's like a magic blade, right? I mean, I, of course, of course, it's Aisha. Of course. Bad bitch. Exactly. Exactly. So do not only rely on her. Oh my goodness. I really like how we're back in the dungeon. I feel like I've said that so many times, but like being back in the dungeon is like one of the best parts. Oh. Can you procreate with people from other races in this universe? Oh. What? It was hidden. Yo, that monster's so fucking smart. Yo. But it was afraid of Bell's fire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Magic fire swords. That's how those guys are able to fight them. So Bell's not gonna be the only one that can do damage. But also, you guys have to have the agility to not get fucked up. Wait, doesn't Haruhime have new magic? It's already planning new shit. But like, what? how did it become like this? Like, why is it so smart? It was hurt? Oh, wow! Why is it saving them? What the hell? I have no idea. Why is it saving the bodies? Because they said they found that other one in the area. Maybe the body had... Well, no, the body was dead already. I don't know. So this is a safe place. Also, I don't think the moss monster is going to come down into that area because he sent him... Okay, you got to get over the fucking boobs, man. Well, she's not going to come... Oh, my gosh, she's going to show you? Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to... For a second there, I was... Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past it. Oh, wow. Aww. I mean, that is... That is the important part. Oh, with the group. Okay. Yeah, you probably have to stay here. Aww. But it sounds like they regularly visit her. Don't attack him. Please don't attack him. Oh, so she can probably help because she's probably seen what it's been doing. She's probably been watching it the entire time, so she probably knows something that can help. No, they need his damn fire. You and I. You know what? It probably definitely wants her because she'll give it a really fucking powerful crystal. And like really good healing capabilities. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Is she good? 
I just I'm so bad with shows like this because I'm just like, oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. It's here. Oh no, multiple months. Oh. Oh, it sent them after them. From the rear. And I knew it. I knew it. Yo, it's so evil. What the hell? What? What is this thing? A pass parade. Okay. Bell go ahead and get his ass back up there. Yeah, you're not gonna die because he survived them other things. What is that noise? Is that him listening to the other people fighting? Can he hear that? He won't get killed. You might be up for fucking auction though, girl. I'm so sorry. So, let me drink some water as opposed to just the tea. I'm about to get stressed, huh? I'm about to get stressed, aren't I? What did you go look at down there? Or you just needed to be in the water? Whoa. Oh, is she using echolocation to find his friends? Oh. Okay. Oh. And see, this is what makes him so powerful now because you're, you're fostering these relations with not just humans, with monsters also. You're gonna need the monster's help to fucking defeat the dungeon. It's too early to use it. Oh, she wants to save Haruhime's like new spell for when like it's gonna actually, probably for like the killing blow. There are gonna be way more, you better fucking move. Oh! Well, y'all are kind of fucked. Okay. Well, now it's a rush for him to get up there. He's going to be the one to save them, but somebody else is probably going to get hurt. Or the Moss Huge is going to start shooting them little fucking darts again. Oh. Wow. Is that the thing that's supposed to help? Oh, my God. It used them to make... Oh, my God. It's so smart. It used them to kill all those monsters to power itself up because it didn't want to go through the fucking uh, shit of getting of fighting all those monsters. They're lucky they don't have like MP, but they probably have like fatigue and exhaustion, right? It's not enough. Oh, fuck! Woo! You're gonna have to upgrade the combat skills because like this is not the... If this is like now in the story and we're like nowhere near the end, they're gonna run into more smart ass monsters like this. They're gonna have to get better. What the hell? Why does it have spikes on it? What the hell is that thing? You better have fa It's gonna be up to the blacksmith thing. What? No, Mikoto got the training. Yeah. Yeah. It's be like me. Yeah. Okay. You gotta hit it. Ooh, Takemiki. Ooh, he's so lean. Ooh, he look good. He look good. I, I, had to, I had to say it. I had to get it. I had to get it out. He looked good. Ooh. She got it. She did it. Nice! Okay, yo, Mikoto's on another level. She's gonna. She's probably gonna catch up the bell faster than anyone. Oh, a heal. Okay, a healing spell. And now you go back. <laughs> she's right. They, re they should level up like a motherfucker. You're literally just helping it get stronger. This is so dark-sided. Yes! Yes, so you should join the family! She should join the fucking family. Like, come on, she's the baddest bitch. You gotta kill it for her. Oh, or is it gonna break the stuff for her? Is there something about the water on this level that she can survive in? If you put her in another water, is that gonna like fuck with her? Just like like how salt water and like freshwater fish can't survive in one or the other? Yush. Oh my god, you need the fire sword. It's coming. Oh, they're coming out the wall. 
What? No! No! Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't want to give it up. Of what you're about. You know they're going to tell somebody. No, Aisha will beat your ass if you say something. They're going to say something. I don't trust them. You t you made those two you made those two promise, not the other people. Well, of course they would end it right there because that's when like the big bang is about to happen. But I honestly thought that Belle might get back to them this episode because the pacing has pretty, been pretty decent so far this season. But, you know, just because it didn't happen this episode doesn't mean that it's not going to be well paced. So I, I, the pacing wasn't bad. Like, we needed the background, you know, the mermaid, the, them having a rapport, all that kind of stuff like that. Her being stuck in the water, the sense of loneliness, and then, like, the foreshadowing of Homegirl's new ability, which is clearly fire. I think they're trying to hide it, and also because it's in the fucking opening. But, like... Aisha is trying to hide it from the monster because she knows the monster is afraid of fire and uh, the element is most likely fire and it probably can wash the monster in one hit. Also, that monster is really fucking smart. I thought that it was just trying to get rid of them or like capture them after they got their asses beat, but it's actually doing two things at once. Like eventually they're gonna tire out and it's gonna be able to capture or like absorb them and put them with the rest of the humans that it's capturing. But also they're feeding it crystals by killing all those monsters as they escape, so. I, this is just a really good return to form for me personally. I really wasn't that big of a fan of like the second season and a chunk of like the third season, but I don't know. This just, this just, it gives me like the vibes that the first season gave me where I was like, this is so good. I would like to have more. And then we got more and I, yeah, good, just really good. Really entertaining. Enjoying myself, even though you guys probably are getting these episodes the same day. I'm sorry. Anyways, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn on notifications, follow me on socials. And if you want to watch fully unedited or uncensored versions, sub to Patreon. Support in all formats is appreciated. That's all. Bye.